Hi, today we're going to show you the PIC PIC uh, UV high voltage grid insect catcher bulb. Also a visible bulb um, with some packaging on it there. Specs are all over the place for the bulb. Here they show it at 920 lumens uh, for the visible. It is 5000K. Uh, they show it at 2000 volts electrical grid, which it isn't and it's certainly not 920 lumens. Then when you look at the instructions on the, on the manufacturer directly, we get uh, grid voltage of 800 volts. It isn't, but it's you know more like f close to 500. That's fine to kill an insect. Uh, luminous flux, they call it. Luminous flux, <laughs> 195 lumens. Okay, it's, I don't think it's that either. I think it's brighter than that. Um, I'm going to probably put it at around three to three to four hundred lumens. I have no way to really measure it accurately, but uh, uh, two hundred lumens is probably a 20, 15 to twenty watt incandescent equivalent. Uh, it certainly seems brighter than that. Uh, so specs are kind of all over the place. At, at three watts total power, you got 0.4 for the high voltage and uh, UV bulbs. I'll show you that. Uh, leaves about two and a half watts for the uh, visible. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe it is 200 lumens, two to 300 lumens. Hard to say, um, but uh, for a porch light, uh, it's not that bright. And strangely enough, it runs very hot, even for a small lumen bulb. There's no heat sinking at all, other than the substrate on the back. I'll show you. Um, so yeah, it's it's got its shortcomings. And for a uh, for a light bulb, I, I don't recommend it. Uh, I disable it, and I'll show you why I do that and and the reason for it and so forth. But uh, at any rate, this is the bulb here. Let me show you. Um, I disabled mine, so um, as far as the uh, the visible goes, there's, um, let's see here, this is the older version here, but it essentially looks the same. They have a smoothing cap here, which they've eliminated, um, but yeah, there's a couple of wires that come through this hole, and I just snip one of them and insulate it, and this whole visible light uh, gets shut down. The reason why I do that is because I use these indoors only, and I use them to catch insects. Uh, you get an occasional little gnat or no see them, we call them in Florida. Um, and uh, the, the problem here is they don't have a switch on the bulb to, to deactivate this. You do it with the light switch off and on will turn both the visible light, the UV and the high voltage is on initially. You shut it off, turn it on again, you will just have the UV and the high voltage only without the visible light. Um, the problem with that is if you lose your electricity for a second or two and it comes back on again or longer, you know, all these are going to be on and it's annoying. So I just disable them. I'm not interested in using them for that. Uh, that's what these two wires are that go into uh, this. You know, it's a typical <clears throat> 5,000 bluish cool uh, bulb with the, the amount of these here. Yeah, I don't know. To me, it looks like a 30 or 40 watt equivalent, and yet they call it uh, 200 uh, lumens, which would be more like a 15 to 20 watt uh, equivalent. So the specs are all over the place uh, with this. Um, th this is really attached to nothing. It gets really, really hot. So I know this thing's probably not going to last. These LEDs won't last. Overdriven and so forth. So, I, you know, like I say, for a light bulb, don't expect this thing to last. Um, but that's not why I got it. So let me uh, show you. Well, let's measure the high voltage first. I thought this high voltage would be a lot higher. Um, I used my 40,000 volt fluke probe and uh, thought it, you know, it was over 1,000 or something, but it's not. Um, this is about, yeah, 400 and, what do we got there? I don't think we're making good contact. Try it again. There we go, 470. Yeah, 470. Um, this earlier model here, uh, instead of a stamped piece of aluminum for the grid, they used, uh, like, steel, spot welded steel in there, chrome coated. More expensive to make. Um, this one's about 600 volts, no big deal. Um, they catch really about the same, they do the same job. This one's bigger. Uh, then they improved it. They did put brighter, better UV uh, surface mounts in here. Uh, I get about three, four, maybe pushing it at five years on the UVs before they get considerably dim. Um, now, if you put it on a timer and just run it at night in your home, uh, they're going to last a lot longer. You can probably double the life if you run it, say, eight hours at night or 12 hours at night. Uh, I run them 24-7, um, and uh, like I say, three, four, five years, let's say four years, and then they, they're, they're dim. It still works, but uh, they just maybe half, half the brightness. Um, 
let's plug it into a kilowatt here. You get about 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 watts with just the high voltage and UVs active. Of course, the high voltage is just an open circuit. It's not really using much. There you see 0.4. Um, you know, that might cost you at 13 cents a kilowatt hour, 24 7, uh, 30 or 40 cents a year, 24 7 to run it. So that's, uh, that's nothing. Does a real good job. I, you know, when, when we get like, you know, you open a garage door or door and you get some little teeny little no see flies, maybe a few little mosquitoes. This does a real good job. It catches them. They see that UV light at nighttime when it's dark in the room. To them, it's, you know, to, to insects, they say it's, it's, it's a bright light. They go for it and they get zapped in there. I might catch 10, 10 a month in each bulb. You know, just depends on how many the concentration of them. Does a real good job. I never really hear them snap or anything. Um, but, uh, and then they do give you a little brush to clean it out. You can use compressed air. You can, they dry out so you can, you can tap the bulb, blow, you know, blow it, uh, blow it out. And, um, over the garbage or whatever and, and it, it, it cleans out pretty well they do give you this little tray if the bulb happens to be hanging upside down uh, there's a little collection tray for them to fall into I find that most of the bugs once they get on the grid they stay on the grid they just dry up um, and uh, yeah so and the high voltage circuit seems to be pretty robust you can you can short it and it uh, you know, recovers nicely I've uh, never had any of the high voltage fail, uh, so I can recommend it. Uh, like I say, I just don't like the uh, the visible bulb and the fact that it would come on uh, if you had a little bit of a power failure and the power came back on, you'd, you'd have the equivalent of maybe a 40 watt bulb uh, on with this. Uh, so that's what I don't like about it, and that's why I disabled it. But it works really well. Outdoor use, you know, they they the they tell you there's pictures of it showing it outdoors. But they don't say not to use it or to use it outdoors. It's very vague. I, don't use it outdoors. This thing would be overwhelmed. Um, in one night, it'll be plugged up with, with uh, insects if they're out there. So indoors, it's it's uh, perfect for indoor use. It does a real good job to get the occasional little uh, mosquito or gnat uh, in the house. Um, so it works, works real well. And you can put it, uh, what I find is you put it on these bases here. You can just plug it into an outlet. Uh, wherever you want and works real well. So yeah, uh, the pick. Let's see, pick model number IK dash UV LED. Uh, they sell for about I've seen twelve to fifteen dollars. Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon, online, everywhere. So I do like it uh, for the uh, aspect of uh, insect uh, killing alone. Like to see a switch to deactivate the. Uh, the regular light but they try to make this product be like everything and it's not not great for for a light bulb so okay thanks for uh, tuning in uh, if you have any comments please leave comments we're happy to answer them and i uh, hope you enjoy the video